Hello Watch fans, this is Charles Wallenfrey back again with another Watch Review. I'm here at Little Treasure Jewelers in Gamboros, Maryland, the authorized dealer of El Kendall. And today I have El Kendall K4 Chronograph. Before I get started, let me address the elephant in the room. This watch is big and tall. At 46 millimeters and a height of 19 millimeters, this watch will send most running in the opposite direction. But if you take a look, at this watch and you will notice the true beauty. I love mother, mother of Pearl. Many times women's watches are doing with such a dial but men's watches often left alone. To maintain some masculinity this mother of Pearl in this dial is dark gray which seems to represent the sea. This watch like a fine piece of art has depth, levels, and intricate detail. The first thing that jumps out at you is the blue second counter with the sextant nautical tool. Next would be the subdials hands with the anchor counterweight upon them. These subdials represent 12 o'clock the 30 minute counter, 3 o'clock the date, 6 o'clock the hours counter, and 9 o'clock the second subsidiary seconds with a second thicker hand for a second time zone. This 46 millimeter case is polished stainless steel. The barrel of the case is curved and lips running perfectly to the open lugs. Part of this watch's height comes from the extra thick sapphire crystals as we can see here on the display case back. The pushes are flush with the crown protector with this oversized crown protruding. Here we have a great shot of the inside of this watch and again we have another sextant. This silver sextant plays the role of the rotor, providing power to the mainstream of the Swiss movement. Sorry guys, I was not provided with the name of this caliber, but no claims have been made by El Kendall for in-house movement. Also, this watch is rated at 100 meters of water resistance. I forgot to mention the fourth pusher here. It is the quick adjust pusher for the 24 hour and secondary time zone sub dial hand. Okay, it's time to get this monster on the wrist. As we can see, the watch can fit under the cuff. Well, sort of. It does not look as crazy as it may thought have looked, but yes, it is quite large. Here I'll set this chronograph in motion again. Let's take a look at this distress matching lighter gray calf leather strap with tang buckle. This strap has quite a bit of girth to deal with the massive case. This distress strap gives a bit of balance to the polished case. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this watch is very beautiful, but it may not be the right watch for most of us. But if you, but if you are interested, please get in contact with Little Treasury Jewelers in Gambrels, Maryland. And I am Charles Wallingford. This is how I would spend my money if I were seven feet tall. <laughs>